Have you ever had your phone, your keys, your wallet fall out of your pockets at the worst possible time? I'm pretty sure it's happened to all of us. So I finally decided to do something about it and invent a 3D printed fix for it. My plan was definitely there and I thought this was gonna go pretty quick in terms of the fix. Let's go in and out 20 minute invention. Ugh. Ugh. Why is this not working? But let's start from the beginning and let me explain my plan to you first. I've got a couple of these magnets laying around here and what if you take those pans where always things fall out and then you turn them inside out and then you just put a magnet on one side and a magnet on the other side. So then this closes the pocket magnetically. It opens when you reach in and the magnets close it once you take your hand out. This whole invention is inspired by the Pocket Snap, a product that already exists. And I really like the general idea of it and especially just the problem solution doing it with magnets. The two problems I have is that first of all, you gotta double use it and then it's just gonna be a lot thicker. And the more important thing is in Germany, for example, I can't even buy them, so it doesn't really help me. And that's why I wanted to make this solution that anybody with a 3D printer can make themselves anywhere. So that's the basic idea and now I just gotta jump into Fusion and make it. The general idea here is to house three of these magnets and span around like nine centimeters so most of your pocket is closed. Also then I added some holes so I can actually stitch it into the inside of the pocket and then it will actually hold. So now that the first design is done, the plan is to print it in TPU so it stays flexible and can kind of warp with the clothing. The first problem I already ran into was not leaving enough space on the side so when 3D printing it was too little material and it wasn't printed at all. So we need to make the wall a little bit thicker just to give it space in the real world. Alright, here goes the second try. All right, the first print came out really bad. The surfaces just don't look good and overall it has the details really horrible. After two or three more prints like that, I actually thought my filament was off, maybe it got wet or something, but eventually I found out that it was my stupidity and I had mismatched the nozzle size in the printer, which was a 0.61 and all my settings were saying it was 0.4, so obviously the printer just couldn't work right with those conditions. And after I fixed that, things got way better. So I tweaked the design a little bit and printed again. Nice, this is the first one that's looking pretty good. So here you can see the before and after I switched that setting and I think it's already a lot better. One cool thing I haven't really talked about yet is how to embed these little magnets in the 3D print itself. It's nothing super special, but it's a great technique to give your prints an extra functionality. The way I do it is you design it with a hole in place where you want the magnet to go and then when you're putting it in your slicer, you're putting a pause just before the layer where that actually is topped off. And then the printer is going to wait for you. You can just insert this little magnet and then have it print over it so it's fully enclosed in the print. And there you have it, magnets in your print. It's honestly super nice and super cool technique. It's definitely not perfect in terms of the surface finish, but I'm printing as little layers to keep the thing as small and unobtrusive in your pocket as possible. So some imperfection, I think, just come with that. But now that I have two of these printed out, it's time to actually sew them into the pocket of my shorts and see how it goes. The plan for actually making it happen is easy. I'm just gonna magnetize them together, then put it down with a little Sharpie to know where it actually is, and then I'm just gonna sew it up. Here's my freshly store-bought amateur sewing kit, and now I'm just gonna do a really horrible job at sewing this together, but it doesn't have to look good. It's gotta work for now. So far this part is a lot more annoying than I thought it was gonna be, but I think I'm slowly figuring it out and I'll get there and it's probably due my general lack of skills when it comes to sewing. <laughs> this is what my first round of handiwork looks like. It's pretty terrible, so don't judge me, I called it before, but I think it's gonna hold and I think that's the important thing for now. Holy moly, I just realized that on some of the stitches I went too far and just sewed the pocket shut, so now I gotta undo that. <laughs> My hopefully smart solution to this is now just putting a piece of cardboard in the middle and then I just can sew through this accidentally. All right, the sewing part's finally done, so now we'll test if it actually works. Let me just quickly get changed into these shorts. All right. And now comes the interesting part if it actually keeps stuff from falling out of my pocket. This is my stress test because earlier I was sitting like that and things kept falling out all the time. I 
It's working really nice so far and this is keeping the pocket shut so nothing can fall out. So yeah, this was just a quick little dirty invention. I, th I think there's a lot of room for improvement, but the general concept definitely works. One major problem I think is the strength of these magnets. While they magnetize pretty well together and are kind of strong by themselves, once you put all that TPU and then some more fabric around it, they don't hold super tight. I picked these because they were the slimmest magnets I had and I wanted the whole thing to be slim and not be super annoying in your pocket but you could definitely use thicker ones and then get more magnetic force. But also you wanna make sure that the magnet is not too strong so you kill your credit card. So this is kind of a use at your own risk kind of improvement. The other thing that was pretty annoying was all the sewing. It made things imprecise and it also took a lot of time. It was just annoying. So I don't know how to do this if you could glue it, but I don't think that would make it through the wash. Or I don't know, maybe you can just do a double magnet version that just clips together in and outside the pocket and then you just have four pieces. That's actually how the pocket snap works that inspired this whole episode. So as a final roundup of this mini invention, I can just say I think it's still in a fairly rough state, but I like the idea and it works so far. I'll put all the files on my thanks account so you can just download it, improve it yourself, and also let me know in the comments what you think I should have done better. Maybe if enough people like it, eventually I'll do an upgrade and sort this thing out. But until then, I hope you watch one of my other videos right there. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video, hopefully. Bye.